Hello everyone, James Dundon here. Um, basically today I'm just going to quickly show you how I'd like you to rule up your page. So this is for both senior classes and my junior classes and something that I think is very important to get right um, so it organises um, your book work for revision and things like that. So it's very important. So basically you're going to get uh, something like this, either a book or a page. For my senior classes I prefer to have separate pages that you can put into a folder but for year eights, I'm happy for it to be in your exercise book. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly uh, just go over this particular line here. Uh, so try and be a bit neater than me. I might actually do that again. Let's get it perfect. Okay, then we're going to draw uh, two more up here. And these two lines at the top are to indicate, you know, what is today's lesson actually going to be about? or not necessarily a classroom lesson, it could also be our a video lesson that you're taking notes on. So we're basically going to divide our page into a, a two-third section and a one-third section. So the two-third section is where you're going to do most of your notes, and the one-third section, I'm just going to draw some dotted lines, you can do a flat line if you want. So on the, on the left here is where you're going to be predominantly doing all your note taking and on the right is where you might have some additional questions or when we go through something in class you can write down some additional notes on the topic. So for example, if I zoom in, and just move it a little bit more centred. So in this top section here it's going to be the topic for today's lesson. So for my year 12s it might be maybe, uh, it might be protein synthesis. I'm just going to write that in there. And today's date, which is the, let's just say it's the 23rd of the first 17. Now, the reason why my year 12s I'd like you to do it and my year 11s on separate paper is because if we learn more and more about it uh, in an additional time, you can't then put that back somewhere in your book. So if you do it like this, you can then write your notes and put it in a plastic sleeve, and then you can just keep adding to it. In year eight, it won't matter as much, or year 10, but we'll get away with it. Okay, so here we write our notes, um, protein synthesis, so we might draw a diagram, for example, of the nucleus, and we're saying that our DNA is being unwound, blah, 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 and we're writing our notes. And then over here, we might go, oh, I don't quite understand um, the, uh, say, five prime to three prime directional stuff to do with DNA. So I'm going to put that question here. What is five prime and three prime? And then you put that question there so you can follow it up with me in class time. Uh, for my year eights, we might be doing energy and you might have a question. So what is the difference between uh, kinetic and sound? Okay, so you've got some questions there that you're actually going to get uh, the answers to in class. So part of the note-taking process is to learn, but it's also to work out what you haven't really understood very well and then get answers to those questions. Now, if we go down to the bottom of this particular section, once we're done with a page, we're then going to rule off and we're going to create a section that we can write a small little summary in our own words, as if we were explaining it to a five-year-old. Because if, if you can explain something to a five-year-old, you really understand it. So here's just where we're going to put our summary. And that might just be a paragraph or a diagram or something very small that just to remind you of the, the main details um, from that particular lesson. And then it's all about just organising our book work to be nice and beautiful so that when we go back to our revision, everything's there that we need. Okay, thanks for watching. This is how I expect all of the document to look, all of your bookwork, and if it doesn't, um, I know you haven't watched the video. Okay, catch you later.